Hey guys, your boy Cam here. Welcome to another episode of my vlog. Today we're in the beautiful island of Oldney, but first I gotta cool down. Oh, that is absolutely freezing. And it's not a surprise, because it's currently April, and I'm here visiting the family on the very special island of Oldney. Anyone who's been here before will tell you it's a very special place. Oldney's the third largest island in the Channel Islands. It's three by 1.5 miles long, and seven miles off the coast of France. Its long winding roads and golden beaches make it a popular holiday destination. And in the summer, the population grows to nearly 2,000 people from all walks of life. So a lot of my friends always ask me, where is Oldney? What is there to do? How can I get there? So instead of just telling you, I thought, why not just show you? I've been coming to Old Nice since I was only six months old. My parents fell in love with the place when they were younger, and so in turn, it became our family home. I've met some of the best friends I could have ever asked for, and the best thing is, every time we come back, it seems like we just pick up where we left off. Oldney has endless options of things to do, whether you want to go for a stroll down the beach, or spend your days in the pub, or like me, you like to skate around the island, there is just so much to do. Oldney's home to some of the rarest species on earth. Whether you're into bats, bees, birds, blonde hedgehogs, or marine animals like dolphins, seals, and of course our famous puffins, then look no further. So even if you're not into the party lifestyle, you can come here, relax, and just enjoy what nature has to offer. Now, Oldney is not just about its golden beaches and nice long walks. It actually plays host to a couple of major events every year, from sailing competitions to arts festivals, including everybody's highlight of the summer, Oldney Week. Oldney Week truly is a highlight of my summer, but don't worry if you're not into big events because there's plenty more things you can do. This is Oldney's museum. Here you can find out about the island's rich history, everyone from the early Romans through to the Tudors, the Victorians, and most recently, the Germans.
This is the entrance to what is known as the Bunker Party. Thankfully, locals and Oldney have turned this pretty horrific event into a positive one. And every year we have major parties in these bunkers, which I'm sure Hitler never intended for, but we're putting it to good use. Let me just show you what I'm talking about. Now, although we do love a good part in Oldney, just like everywhere in the world, it's not without its problems. For one, it's truly expensive to get here, and flights from the UK can range anywhere from two to three hundred pounds return. And on top of that, just like today, when the fog rolls in, the planes simply cannot fly. And over the past few years, Oldney's seen a decline in its visitor numbers, putting incredible amounts of pressure on the small businesses and families to exist. But if you are lucky enough to come here, you'll be meeting some of the friendliest people on earth. No, for such a small place, there's a lot going on. It's different, it's quirky. It's the whole island is your garden. You know, you can go pretty well everywhere. You don't have to drive everywhere, even though people do nowadays. I just love it. I love the individuality of Alderney. You don't need to go very far to, to see wildlife. It's a bit like you've got a reserve in your garden. It's really quiet, people are great, especially. It's just different. It's a nice change. It's quite the people. People are lovely, you've got the beaches, I mean, oh! It's, yeah. it's, just, it's just a laid back life, way of life and uh, everything's uh, happy, happy go lucky and uh, it is, it's a lovely place to be. The, the pace of life here, yeah, definitely. Very, very gentle compared with the mainland. I guess it's about the people. It's, yeah, it's about the people of Oldney and I like the quiet winters and the, and the busy summers and days on the beach, boats. Um, it's the, I don't know, it's the general lifestyle, I suppose. Friends, um, good community, safe for the children. It's pretty, lots of nice walks. What's the best part about the wildlife? Uh, probably because we have like different animals over here, like blonde hedgehogs, like no one else has. Living so close to the sea all the time. The lovely weather, the seasons, the people. People in particular, I think. It takes a special kind of person to live in Albany. I think that's the thing about Alderney, your currency is your friends. So, there you go. That is Alderney, folks. Truly a magical place to be. But don't just take my word for it. If you want to come here, go to visitoldney.com where you can find all the information that you need. Remember to share this video with your friends and your family. Give me a like on social media. Remember, don't keep this place a secret. Till next time.